What's Your Hustle is a documentary series that sits down with driven people from all walks of life and learns more about what makes them tick. In one very compelling episode, they chronicled the life and worth ethic of Sacramento boxing champ Blake the Beast McKiernan. During his seven-year professional boxing career, Blake the Beast has had 13 wins, including six knockouts, and he's distinguished himself in and out of the ring. And he's here today to tell us not only about the film, but also about his story in his own words. Uh, welcome, Blake. Thank you so much for joining us. I always appreciate you guys having me, so yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, I get to meet you for the first time today, so thank right. you. Let's first just talk about the film. Like, where, where did this come about? Uh, so the film, you know, I've always had a lot of people reaching out to me throughout my career. And uh, to be honest, you just never knew who to invest time into because everybody always has these great ideas of mm -hmm. doing projects, but they never go anywhere. So um, because I was getting a lot of global attention in my career as I started to become more successful, I was reached out to by an, a gentleman by the name of Johnny De La Cruz, who's from New York City, um, but he moved to L.A. to pursue being a director. And he's actually the owner of this series called What's Your Hustle? Okay. So they had reached out to me, um, said that they loved what they saw about me on the Internet, wanted me to be a part of their program and their series. So I was more than happy to do it. Yeah, it's so cool. Um, tell us about, like, well, how does it feel sharing your whole story? Well, you know, to be honest, like, I don't think that it covers my whole story, but okay. it covers a lot of the high points. It's only about a 25 to 30 minute documentary, so it covers a lot of the high points of my life, which pretty uh, much kind of elaborates what brought me to where I'm at today. But being a part of the program and the project, it was amazing. You know, I'm extremely thankful for Johnny and for the uh, What's Your Hustle crew for inviting me. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it was just seemed like a normal day to me. You know, yeah. I just I had crews following <laughs> me around during my workout regiment, and it was completely normal to me. But, you know, to answer your other question, you know, to be able to share my story with people to really help inspire people throughout my journey is something that I always wanted to do, and yeah. I'm happy to do it. Yeah, well, we want to hear more about your story because you are from Sacramento. You also uh, were in the military. Right. And, and, and how did you, you know, get this passion of boxing? So just tell, tell us a little bit about all Long that. story short, I grew up in Sacramento. You know, I was born into poverty, grew up on welfare, didn't have the greatest upbringing. And, uh, you know, the two things I always knew in life is we can never dictate or choose who our parents are, the environments that we are yeah. born and brought up into. But I always had this desire to want to really pursue more out of life. I wanted more. After living in the bottom for so long, I knew that I wanted better for myself. So, you know, throughout my life, you know, I had a lot of trials and tribulations that happened that kind of forced me to make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. But one of the best decisions I ever made, made, which I knew I needed to make, not ever having a father figure throughout my life, was joining the military. Yeah. You know, it really structured me in a lot of ways and really started to give me a lot of confidence and showing me to start believing in myself a lot more. Uh, so I spent three and a half years in the Army, two wow. and a half years stateside, and one year overseas in Iraq. And, you know, my entire experience in the military helped shape the person, the man that I am today. And it just really opened up my eyes in a lot of ways for, you know, a lot of things that people take for granted. You know, life isn't promised and every day is something that people need to wake up and really chase after with everything that they love. So, um, you know, I'm just happy that I was able to make the decisions that I needed to for the, the better of my life and my career. Yeah, and then where did that, that love, that drive for boxing come from? So, you know, growing up, uh, I always grew up as a kid, and I, you know, like I had mentioned, I grew up not ever having much, yeah. so I was always getting picked on in school. Unfortunately, I was always fighting in school to protect and defend myself from not getting bullied, and... You know, all my teachers throughout my upbringing were always telling me because they thought I was a troubled child, not really knowing how to vocal my reality and my situation in my home life. Were always telling me that I was going to be dead or in prison by the time I was an adult. Wow. And, uh, you know, at 10 years old, my very first time seeing Mike Tyson fight at Vander Holyfield, mm -hmm. I completely fell in love with the sport. And I was like, this is what I'm going to dedicate my life to. That is incredible. And that... It's horrible to hear. I'm so glad you took all of that and you channeled it into, you know, something amazing. 100%. Yeah. And so you talked a little bit about Mike Tyson. Like, who are some of the boxers or maybe people here in Sacramento who have inspired you? So, you know, as a young kid growing up here in Sacramento, uh, I've come up and been a part of a lot of people's careers here that came before me and now have been a part of my career. You know, there was, everybody knows Tony the Tiger Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, there's Loretto Garza, Richard Savala, one of the biggest, you know, Diego Corrales, a good friend of mine and mentor of mine, Otis Griffin. Okay. Um, he had been a world champion won that show, The Next Great Chant. So I've been a part of a lot of these guys' careers as well, watching them as a little kid. Yeah. And then, you know, Otis, I was his main sparring partner towards the end of his career, and he assisted me in my career. So to be able to come full circle with everything and to be able to see where everything came from, where I was a child to where it is now, and now all these people support me in my career, it's a great feeling. That's awesome. Well, hey, we are so proud to have you representing Sacramento. Thank I you really so appreciate much. It. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. Can't wait to watch your documentary. You can watch the Beast episode of your What's the Hustle docuseries on the streaming app Tubi.